Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to import a CSV file into a PostgreSQL table using pgAdmin4. Alright, so the first step is open pgAdmin4. So you have the icon here, so I'm going to click on it and now it's opening. Okay, and the next step is to connect to your PostgreSQL server. So it looks like I have saved my password, so that's why it automatically connected to the server, right? And the second step is to locate your database and table. So to do that, go to servers, your server, okay, this one, your current server, and databases, and your database. So I got this, I got two databases. So one is Postgres and the other one is TestDB. I'm going to use TestDB in this video. All right, so expand the database, schemas, public, and tables, okay? Here, so right now, looks like I don't have any tables yet. Yeah, it's blank. I mean, nothing is here. Okay, so if the table does not exist, you have to create it first with columns that match your CSV file. And I have the SQL commands here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. And then I'm gonna click on table and query tool. Okay, and I'm gonna paste the command and I'm gonna click this, the play button. Okay, so it says query return successfully in 91 milliseconds. All right, and so if we want to verify that the table has been created with the columns, we can actually just, let me just refresh this. Now we have the table called network devices. And now we can actually right click on it, scripts, and select script. So this is how you verify that the table has been created, right? And you can also verify by looking at here, right? So same. Okay, so the next step is right click on your table or target table, which is in this case, network underscore devices and select import export data. So that's what I'm going to do. Don't save, don't save. So right click on the table this one, yeah, target table. So network devices, select this import, export data. And I'm gonna select import and I'm gonna browse. Now let's follow the steps here. So under general, right? Browse to select your CSV file and I have a sample CSV file here. Uh, if you want to try this yourself and then format to choose CSV, right? Encoding set to UTF-8. Okay, so looks like the file is already selected, but for the sake of completion, I'm gonna go ahead and select the file again, which is this, the CSV file. And then the format is CSV, encoding is, yeah, already UTF-8. And then under options, I'm gonna select header because I have column headers, right? Which is already selected header here. And then under columns, I'm gonna leave everything as is. Okay, and then um, click okay to start the import. So now we can click okay to start the import. Okay, so it says, Process is started copying table data. Okay, so it looks like it is successful, right? And we saw the successful message there as well. All right, so to verify that you have inserted or you have successfully inserted the file or the CSV file in this case, you can actually right click on your target table again. So target table, uh, script, select, right? I just followed this process here. And then you can either 
run this or execute this script, or you can also just execute this here. So here we are selecting all the columns and we can also replace this with asterisk. So meaning all the columns. Okay. And actually I'm just, that's the command that I'm going to use. So yeah, so now we see the rows or the CSV file uploaded or inserted or imported. Okay, so that's how you can import CSV file into Postgres QL table using pgadmin4. All right, so hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.